This was one of those awesome days that turned to crap in a click of your fingers. Watch this to find out how it happened. Summer holidays, Tasmania 2021. Today's a fun day. Harry and myself are gonna do some wreck climbing in this big vim. It's an absolute monster. Uh, I'm gonna set up some little ribbons for Harry to go and see if he can retrieve them. Awesome. This uh, is my old school. I used to go here in 1979. So yeah, brings back a few memories. Looks a bit different these days. This is our rope logic anchor sling. We're gonna attach this to the bottom of the tree and get our SRS rope ready. This thing's awesome. It's fully adjustable on a prosic. Come up the end there, Harry. Thanks, mate. So to get an exact length, put him through there like that. And then you slide that along, Harry, the crossing. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Yep, right, how tight's that coming up? Yeah, mate, that's tough. Work. Okay, connect that to that. Good work. Remember, 80 odd feet, so it's gonna be a decent old climb up there for a 11 year old. There we go, set all this up. Petzl zigzag with a petzl chicane added to it. Not a bad little climbing system. Good little SRS system. Okay, we're both using the turbo foot ascender here today. Oh, nice and tight. Like that. Like that off. Let's get that out of the way. Clean all your system right up. Yep. Like that. Yep, that's much better. Okay. Right. So that's good. We've got a foot ascender, we've got a knee ascender. So I've cut all these little ribbons. And I'm just going to go up in the tree now and set them in the tree for Harry. And get your knee ascender on. Like so. Um, you'll need a little carabiner like this one. And that connects that to that. And then on to here. And that is your complete system. Then what you can do is, if you just start hopping straight up. like that and if you want to rest just take off your little carabiner and then sit back in your harness like this happy days so now you've got to this stage connect in your foot ascender like so like this and then you're good to go happy days straight up This is just a bit of footage of a similar system to show you how your knee and your foot move up the road. How good is that? Yeah, sit back and relax. Enjoy the view. Harry already looking small down there and we're only at around about 10 meters so here we go i'm just going to put harry's first ribbon on just way out here so i've got to really stretch to get that off there we go put that there for harry there we go and that's his first one that he's got to get off walk back along the limb put your nerve sender back on like this but you just leap off the limb like that and it's like whoa so much fun so scary for the first timers push your foot back on and you're right to go again go up here and get another ribbon in the tree for harry send it back off now you send it off and go and set another another one out here for him. Okay, put that there for Harry to come and get. Put it just there like that. 
training for the kids is so important for the future of our work. So important. Go very high now, as you can see. Look at that. We're at about the 15 meter mark. Okay. Now we're at the 20 meter mark. Okay, here we go. This is Harry's last ribbon. I'm going to set it right out here. I'm going to make this one a really tough one for him. He's got to climb right out there. So here we go. This is the third and final ribbon. Here we go. Just going to move out here. Oh, it's a spindly old limb. Here we go. Reaching out. Moving out. Whoa, look at that. She's wobbling around like you wouldn't believe. Okay. And this is Harry's final ribbon to get. Can he do this today? This is going to be interesting to see. And there we go. 25 metres. Sitting in the top of this big vim. This is Cambridge. Southern Tasmania, my old school. Not much of it's left now, the old part. Just that little silver section in the middle. That's about how big it used to be. 1979. All right, that's it. I'll get down and we'll get Harry stuck into retrieving his ribbons. Three ribbons. Here we go. What's that? Yeah, absolutely. You're about to have one of those, a real good fast one. Feel the zigzag. Feel how warm it is. You ready to have a go? Yeah. You spooked? Are you scared? No. Okay, Harry's uh, using the Seikar mini knee ascender. What's up? Got him connected to his his chest harness. Okay, Harry's got the camp turbo foot ascender. Ready to go? You ready to go, Harry? Yes. Feeling good? So guys, school hasn't gone back yet. There's still three days to go. It's a public school that we're at. And the principal came out, phone in hand, police on the phone, and tells Harry and me if that if we're not packed up in five minutes, the police are gonna be called to the school grounds. Now, is there really any need for that? I was so devastated. We were ready to go. Harry's done all this before. You guys, our subscribers, have seen us climb. Anyhow, on a happy note, we are under Mount Wellington and we are going to climb an absolute ripper. Exactly the same system. And as a matter of fact, I'm about to send Harry up it right now. crap what happened today at the school but I'm just about to do this crazy limb walk. I'm gonna try and go all the way up there.
As a general rule, school grounds are accessible to the public when school and after school activities are not in session. So after doing this Google search, there's still mixed thoughts on this issue and it probably should be a bit clearer. Anyhow, leave your comments and I uh, hope you enjoyed the film. Please don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Gets that good old algorithm moving. <laughs>